Honestly, I'm feeling very smug today because I am under a marquee, which I paid very little money for. So I bought this last year, last summer, because it was a wet summer, like every year in Britain, and I got it on eBay and I think I paid about 150 quid for it. And I didn't have high hopes. When I bought the thing, it said heavy duty. And you know when they say heavy duty, they've got those horrible Photoshop pictures of a tornado whirling towards a marquee and then you get it and it falls over with a gust of wind. I wasn't confident because it looked like that. I thought this is gonna be one of those really cheap ones. And I have to say, since I've got this thing, it's just made my life so much easier. Like it is a doddle to put up, it's easy to put down again. And I'm on gravel here and I'll show you when it comes to putting it down later on, just how easy it is to make this thing fold up. The only drawbacks I know from it really is the weight of the thing because it is a sturdy unit. It is gonna take a little bit of effort getting it in the van. So in that instance, you're gonna to need to get yourself a big enough vehicle. If you're using a car, I don't think you're gonna be able to make do with one of these because it is a hefty bit of kit. But I've been using this one on and off now for about, about a year and a half now. And I have to say, I've got a little tiny tear there, which was probably due to me chucking it in the shed when I had a moment of rage. But apart from that, it's been a solid marquee. Like I'm really impressed with it. And I wanna show you now, cause it is peeing down. I mean, look at it. It is really heavy today. So this is a three by three. So granted, it's not gonna be able to keep you completely dry if you're doing a Range Rover, for example, but it has got a good height on this one as well. This Audi A3 that I'm working on now, the only reason half of it is in the rain is because I'm filming another video right now, but normally I can get this thing pretty much dry and at least I can get all the doors open. And that's the main thing when it comes to doing the inside, if you've got a rainy day like this, you've taken care of the outside, there's not really much else you're gonna do if it's gonna carry on raining. So at least you can get these doors open under the canopy. Other things you've got to be careful of is when you put the boot up because Although it is high, you can still catch it. So if you stick a towel there, you'll be fine. But it just makes sense. And considering it takes about 60 seconds to get this thing up, a bit like me in the mornings, it's not actually that bad. So price-wise, when you compare this to another marquee, you can get them for like 100 quid, where they just fold up straight away. They're just very flimsy and they're pathetic, if I'm brutally honest. I don't think any car cleaner should have them because I think they're borderline dangerous. If you get a gust of wind and it picks it up and flies it over into a car or smashes a window, then your insurance company aren't gonna be happy with you. With this thing though, even though like, I've only got it tied down to a couple of five litre drums, other than that, I mean, it's not even gonna blow away. We've had this out in really stormy weather and it still held up pretty good. So why did I opt for a three by three in the first place? Well, the answer is simple. I got this one during the pandemic and it was near impossible to get a decent marquee just because supplies weren't getting to the UK and demand was still so high I couldn't actually get a larger one. And plus I wanted something I could use for the garden but now things are getting back to normal I feel like if I was pushing this valeting business a little bit further I would have opted for a larger one and maybe put wheels on it to make my life easier. The thing is because things are getting back on track with supplying these they now have actually come down in price and you can pick one up on Amazon for around just £120. But do bear in mind prices will always fluctuate especially now that warm weather is here. So if you wanna get one, then my best advice is to get one while they're cheap. I'll put links to the exact one I have, plus a few recommendations, as I have been looking at other detailers' gazebos over the past few weeks, so I have seen a few decent ones too. So the biggest question you may ask is if you really need a larger marquee. And to be honest, if you're just doing the odd bit of valeting, then three by three is plenty big enough. However, if your job is to carry out paint correction or mobile smart repairs, then ideally you should go for a larger one so you've got more space. As for my one, it's still going strong and I haven't had any doubt about it, so I personally do recommend going for one of these. And if you're thinking about starting up your very own car cleaning business, then I have a dedicated video, especially for those of you on a budget, right here.